And hey, everybody, it's time for our little Monday get together, I guess. Uh, all right. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure that uh, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're working. Okay. There we are. We're, we're all in going. And now what I got to do is bring everybody in. Admit all. Boy, there are a ton of them right now. Watch this. Here comes. Oh, there's Mandy. Mandy, you got to turn your phone sideways. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There. That's much better. And uh, let me see here. We got Shecky and we got Mike and we got Scott Boddicker and we got Andrew Deutsch and we got Leonard LaFrisco. And here we got some more coming in here. We got Steve Bender is going to be joining us and Charlie Wallace is going to join us. Oh boy. We already got nine people already. <laughs> this is becoming very popular. It we was. start singing the Alex bunch. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a nice little gathering. Mm -hmm. A little out of it today. Cause I, uh, I had to take one of these, uh, it, it, I take this, uh, at, at, at my eyes itch really badly. So I take this, um, what do you call it? The, the, the decongestant, right? That says non-drowsy. I got news for you. When they say non-drowsy, they're lying. They really are. Oh, you're laughing at that, Shecky. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, why do they say non-drowsy when you get all, uh, you know? But then you get one of those commercials for let's say an incontinence pill and then there's 30 seconds of and if you have a heart attack it's not because of the pill and if you have been mm -hmm. yeah because of that you know well i saw an ad for on tv the other day for a pill for irritable bowel syndrome and it says stop taking if you get diarrhea wait a minute <laughs> isn't that what it's supposed to fix <laughs> Sometimes the uh, side effects of those drugs are worse than the disease itself. <laughs> well, that's what I'm worried about here. You know, this is just, you know, this just made me. Well, loop. Alex knows last, last March, I got off of all the pills the doctors prescribed for me. Hmm. I haven't felt better in the last year since I stopped taking all those pills. You decide to stop taking them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Even I, the antipsychotics for <laughs> yeah, yeah, <even> that. <laughs> I uh um I've been thinking about that ever since you mentioned that. You know, I'm thinking eh, too many of these things I'm taking. I'll tell you one thing I did. I suddenly found out I when I when I was with uh, my SAG after plan, they kept giving me three months at a time, right? And I don't know how it happened, but I built up six months worth of backlog on my pills. So now that I've got to pay more for them, I just not, I, I've told them I don't want them. You know, I won't take them right now. And I may go back and start looking at all this stuff that I'm taking and start eliminating it. Maybe I'll keep the statins. Maybe you're still good, you know, to keep doing. But I think they, I told you, my cardiologist. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Rick, first of all, Shecky, what were you saying? I said when I went to see my cardiologist about a month ago, and said, by the way, you know, I've gotten off all of these pills. And he goes, oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with Shecky. I mean, I, I did it too, like a year ago. I just said, I, I don't want to be on so many pills. And I, you know, I also started meditating every day and I've never felt better. Yeah. Yeah. You realize they, they do do something to you that it's not. Well, just, they, all <laughs> these pills do something. To, they're supposed to do something. Right. But, but they do other things than what they're supposed but to. But they can also crash into each other, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you take this pill from that doctor and that pill from that doctor. And nobody's really like, what's going on with that versus that? Well, I'll bet you Mandy isn't on a single medication. Are you, Mandy? I am. I'm <laughs> one. <laughs> what? But I, I'm in total. Uh, I take, have to take thyroid. Thyroid. Uh, thyroid. So do I. I do too. I take thyroid. Yeah. So do I. Under that just they just said there's no real reason. It just it may be genetic or you know. Well, the, the the thyroid is the kingpin of everything. So that's one thing you want to take a pill. Yeah, and luckily I've never had any. Um, like it stayed the same. Like yeah. it's always the same strength. This I'll be um, taking yeah. the rest of my life. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. just 
what it is. That's fine. No, we I agree with I agree with what y'all are saying. My mom's on so many pills, and I just think that's part of a problem. Shecky, how, uh, how many pills were you on? I think maybe six, seven. I'm not even sure. Not what I'm oh, that's missing. nothing. That's nothing. I'm taking twelve. I think we, we, I think we have a winner. <laughs> I won the other way. I don't take anything. Really? Zero. I mean, zero. I, zero. I take four. I take four. I take. I think about five or six. <laughs> you know, uh, and and I it's like one that I don't think I know I don't need, but. You know, I mean, it's just, I, I'm, a, you know, it's kind of like you're afraid to stop them because yeah. you're afraid your doctor knows something you don't know. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yes. And stopping them cold turkey like yeah. that can actually. Yeah. Be and if you want to lower your correct cholesterol, you can either take these pills that make it look like you have less cholesterol, <laughs> or you can maybe do something about taking in less cholesterol. <laughs> Heaven uh, excuse me, Scott. I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. Who? Is Scott, are you there? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought he was frozen. Oh, what? Yeah. what did you? Well, you kind of gave me a look when I said that. Well, I, I like to eat food, so I'll take. <laughs> yeah. <food. laughs> well, or you'll eat all the bad stuff because I I, I do it I, because I like um, I like try to keep on my low carb diet, but it really doesn't help these days. It drives me crazy. I try to be on my low carb diet. I've gotten to the point where I uh, look like what happens is I want to be on a low carb diet and every night we have dinner and what does she cook noodles <laughs> I've gotten to the Carbs. point where I'm cooking Carbs. for myself yeah I miss my soups and my stews I don't care what's in it I'm cooking for me yeah. now tell them about your soups okay tell my them about signature it. soup my signature soup is split pea with sausage and I made it today mm -hmm. mm. and there must have been too much salt in ham hocks, you know, and it's so salty that I'm going to probably throw it out. I looked it up online. They no, said I minute, add either minute. vinegar or lemon juice. Okay, but hold on a second. To reduce the tell salt. Them, tell them how much you're going to wind up throwing out. Now, this is this is how she. I'm throwing out all the liquid, but not the sauce. No, 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 no. That's not the point I'm making. <laughs> I have tell no them how idea much what you cook. Is. Tell them how much you cook at any. I have no time. idea what you're talking about. I could have you walk that iPad into the kitchen, <laughs> and they could see the pot you're cooking it in. Hey, you want to walk into the kitchen? Go walk into the kitchen. No, no, no but you know what I'm saying. You don't cook you're... small portions. You cook huge portions. So well, you make your. I was a chef of... in an army in a previous life. No, but if I was you, about to say, is this like for an army? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. She doesn't know how to I make big soup, soup pots. Marjorie, Marjorie, I'm going to get your back on this one. My wife cooks bone broth all the time. One of the reasons I don't have any pills is we take lots of natural stuff like that. And uh, she makes a bone broth pot that's like that. And then she puts it in jars and we got bone broth for months. So well, that's what I do. It's not, I it's not I that make, out of the line. I make the bone the bone uh, au jus, and then I add all the stuff, but it came out so salty that what I'm going to do is throw away the soup and keep the sausage. I love that <laughs> word, au jus. That's one of my favorite words in the what? world. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Yeah. I just love saying it. Au jus. Yeah. Au jus. <laughs> my favorite, just... it's my favorite soup. What, what do you mean by a rabbi? Au jus. Yeah, what did you call Alex? <laughs> <laughs> Did she what? call you a bad? Is she, is she calling you a name? Old Jew. That's Jew. all. Old Jew. Old Jew. Old Jew. Old Jew. You have one of those space lasers? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh my. But, uh, no, I mean, um, uh, she cooks a huge pot of stuff. I and freeze like, it. Well, let me finish. And like, she'll do the pea soup and I won't eat it because it's bad on a low carb diet. And then she's got these things she bought, these plastic things. Quart size, quart size. Yeah. I pour the soup in those and I freeze them. And no, and you give them away to people. Anything well, I do that too. <laughs> I mean, I do make a lot of soup. Yeah. I mean, you're like somebody who just had a cat who had kittens and everybody comes over to the house. You see if they want a kitten. You say, <laughs> here. You want some soup? 
You got right, right, Jackie. You've come over and gotten the soup. Oh yeah, come with you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you guys, would you like to take a pea soup? <laughs> <laughs> That's that sounds delightful. When these travel restrictions uh, light up, I'm going to come over for a bowl of soup. That sounds Absolutely. awesome. I've right. been into soup lately. It's been soup weather. Well, yeah, this whole, so cool. yeah. make, whole year. Yeah, whole year. I, I love it. Try it almost every other week and do exactly what she does. And we're having a nor'easter, another low, one low on low Wednesday carb. or Thursday. Oh. Really? Another one? We had snow on Saturday night. We, we got did. Snow. Yeah. We still have it, and it's going to get very, very cold, and then have another nor'easter. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I'm going anywhere anyway, so it doesn't matter. When I woke up this morning, it was seven outside. Yeah. Really? Mm. Well, you're where? You're in uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very cold. That's cold. Yeah. I heard a rumor that Cleveland rocks, but I haven't substantiated. <laughs> yeah. it's quite, it's, it's quite accurate. I've got a whole bunch of rocks in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, so uh, Charlie's the pill winner here, I guess. How many? Twelve. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, I've been taking methotrexate for, for twenty eight years for my uh, arthritis. My dad takes that. Do you have rheumatoid? Rheumatoid arthritis. I've seen yeah. people. They can't even stand up straight. They're all so bent and disfigured from room. I'm not. Uh, that's, my that's, that's, that's my oh, biggest God. fear. That's my biggest fear. Is this the fewer yeah. toes, more pills rule? <laughs> no, that's completely different. That's the metformin. <laughs> I'm not going off of that because I only have four toes left. I'm not <laughs> risking anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you know, as we said, uh, we've given him a new uh, gangster name, Charlie Four Toes. <laughs> yeah. Charlie <Right>. Four Toes. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah. But so uh, I don't know. I mean, I you, I might do what you're doing and get off of almost everything, Shecky. Although I don't know if I want to do away with the cholesterol stuff because I do like my meat. Yep. You know, <laughs> I know. I know what you're saying, Scott. Uh, I can I can eat all that stuff because I'm taking my uh, my chole anti cholesterol pill. Do you know about the keto diet? Yeah, basically, the keto diet is the low carb diet. Is the Atkins? But it's but it's, yeah. a, but it's a high fat, high meat diet. Yeah, I've been, I've been on it for a year, and I lost I've lost sixty five pounds, and my cholesterol is fine. Oh, I lost I wow. lost wow. sixty pounds, but then I went out and I had this uh, this uh, this prostate stuff, and I think that, I think that put weight on me. The uh, operation put some a little bit of weight on me. And then, no, it's eating I, all that stuff at, uh, after hours in the kitchen to put the weight on you. What do you mean? I don't eat anything after hours. <laughs> and, then we, and then you were quarantined. Right. Well, no, it's I'm saying that was probably the, it, that's, the, that's 15 pounds of it. Okay. Yeah. But I eat as much, fat, as much fat, as much meat, and dairy as I want. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I did. I did that and I lost 60 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Checky saw it. You know. I've been on keto for seven years. I lost 160 pounds. Wow. 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 It's an amazing diet. It, you That's know. a whole person. Now, what yeah. the, if I didn't lose it as much as I left it in the septic tank. I did basically Atkins. Boy. Yeah, I got a divorce too, Andrew. What's the difference? Between, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. What's the difference between keto and Atkins? I think the percentages. It's like 75%. 75% fat. Keto... Atkins has got all these weird formulas too about how fiber offsets that aren't true. Really? Keto, <laughs> keto leaves out all the stuff that would give you a. Well, all I know is Marjorie saw proof of the fact that it works. No, it I works. Mean, you know, and it also mental focus has been unbelievably improved as a result. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it's just um, no sugar, no carbs, and a lot of fat and some protein. Yeah. That's why I only cook for myself now. That's why you only cook. Oh, so you don't cook for me. So, I cook for you. I cook for you if it's something I'm going to eat. Mm -hmm. But why does everything have to have noodles with it? Why does everything <laughs> have to be a steak? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say something right here. I'm going to throw out the gratefulness. Uh, oh, grateful look at that. The first thing I'm grateful for is that my wife doesn't come on this call every week. And the second thing I'm grateful for is that Marjorie comes on this call every week. Yeah, <laughs> that was, that was Andrew. Look, that, I just that got was, a note. Jeff is trying to get wow. on with the problem. Oh, wait a minute. Well, no. He, that was pre-keto. He's not so trying. On the show, but his computer is oh. down. He's trying to use mine. 
Can you tell me the website address? Or just go to Facebook, right? You, you have to go to, well, you can go to the face, my Facebook page, or you can go to uh, gabnet.net and right there is, it says Zoom, click here to Zoom. Okay, so anyway. Um, okay. You know, to give him the complete address is too much. Trouble. I just said go to his Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, um, look, show that picture again, Andrew. Yep. Here's, a, here's a different one. This is Andrew before and after. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Nice work, man. Well done. Wow. Yeah. Really good for you. Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, I'm not worried about ever going back to where I was. Uh, you want me to show them your before picture? Alex? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's my. Rare. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. That's amazing. You know what she is? Yeah. She's like she's like your mother who likes to show everybody pictures of you when you were a baby naked on a mat or something. You know. Oh, I've look! It wasn't it you? You know. This is he used to pee up my arm. Yes. I'm, you know. <laughs> she likes to say, Yeah, here's the picture when he was fat. <laughs> my sister That's likes to show pictures of when she dressed me up in her clothes and put makeup on me. That's the one she <laughs> my head. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, Older it, sister. Love her, but of she course. Always has <laughs> yeah. Relatives trying to trying to uh yeah. Uh, yeah, I know the I know the feeling. Anyway, hey, I'm not a real football fan, but what do you think about Brady? This is coming from the person that is still traumatized from three years ago <laughs> from Atlanta. <laughs> because I am a I was a lifelong Atlanta Falcons fan and I literally haven't watched it. Probably also has something to do with I got divorced too, so it's just not yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But, I was seriously a good fan, you know, very faithful fan. And I think it just really just killed my love for football. I was like, eh, I'm so disappointed. I think mm. I was a bigger fan when I was at the university as opposed to pro football. Yeah, I do like college football too. But yeah, I went to a Big Ten school and I, it, it was like party time all the time. Oh, yeah. I still don't know how it's played. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. neither does my school. Huh? Kept asking me questions. Yeah, I went to Big Ten school too. I put too, on the second half. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we we started watching it in the third inning, right? No, the fourth <laughs> quarter. The fourth quarter. The fourth quarter of what? Football game. <laughs> oh, football game. Uh, I watch. I watched it in the fifth quarter because I've never seen a game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I t today I got a I was doing a little texting back and forth with uh, Albert and I said, "Why don't you give us a call today?" He says, "Only if you're going to talk nothing but football for the whole hour." Uh, oh wow. And I said, <laughs> "Well, he's from Florida." No, I couldn't guarantee him that. So he hasn't called today. His guys won. <laughs> His guys won. They did, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I so mean, it just Tampa's makes me sick that Tampa Super Bay is now won twice, and Atlanta still has yeah. not even won a Super Bowl yet. No, and Tom no. Brady is <laughs> you party times. downtown with thousands of people not wearing masks. Mm -hmm. of course, wait, 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 wait! It was thirty-six thousand people, and the other things were cut out cardboards. I was wondering they about that because it looked very crowded. They only let like, what is going on? Thousand in, but they had cut out boards of faces, mm -hmm. so it looked like they filled Which up. They charged money to those oh, people. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. in the <laughs> oh, yeah. There's another. I mean, it's not it. like they had to pretend. Though. Exactly. Why did, they, why did they have to pretend that it was crowded? Everybody knows why there's not a lot of people. <laughs> Pandemic. <laughs> when CBS just, Sunday morning, they had the guy that makes the the, the cheering sound. Oh, we have it they, they the have sound effects now. It was great. Yeah, but uh, I you know, have it like if, if they make a I, touchdown. I was, I was watching that game last night. It looked like there were too many people too close to each other. There. It still looks like a lot of people. And they were separated and they had a lot of make believe. Um, the cardboard. Cutouts. Oh, they had cutouts in between them? Yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's a hell of a lot of cutouts to put up. Right? Hey, that's what your yeah. fan club does. What were you going to say, Shaki? It looked like you wanted to say something. No, I was going to say, did, I wasn't watching it at this point. Apparently, there was a naked guy who ran across the field in the fourth quarter. Was it? Yeah. Oh, he, he wasn't naked. That. He wasn't naked. He wasn't but naked. he was hideous. But yeah. he, was, he was for a quarter <laughs> second. 
He was he wearing was a carrying pink... a bat some online porno site. Oh, was he, was wearing, he was wearing a pink thong and a and a pink shirt or something. Yeah. <laughs> or a single ad. It looked like a single ad or something. Just really <laughs> Would anybody be willing to do that next year for Gabnet? Hardly <laughs> <laughs> will. Only if you guys do a GoFundMe to get me out of jail. <laughs> I'll do it for Gabnet. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? You know. And then Reddit bought an ad yesterday, a five second ad. Yes, yeah. that was brilliant. Yeah. Reddit that was good. A five second How many of you stopped it and looked at it? Did any of you do that? No. I just saw it online. I actually did, yeah. What, what was it? I, I, I don't, you know, to tell you the truth, I don't even remember. It was like we blew our ad budget on this five second commercial. Yeah. <laughs> go to Stock Trader or whatever that thing is called. Yeah. And, you know, go GameStop. And it had like a message about. Oh, no, they hit Red, Red Robin, I think it was, or Robin Hood or Robin, yeah. what is it? Red? They didn't mention Robin Hood. They mentioned their, mm -hmm. their stock bulletin board, whatever that's called. Well, no, but the thing that brought down. Uh, oh. Red, uh, this, right. this this company was brought down by that whole GameStop thing, and yet yeah. they had an ad on the Super Bowl yesterday. No, not Reddit. Reddit is a bulletin. No, board. no, this is not Reddit. This is well, like no. Reddit. No, is Reddit. Is, like, to be clear, Reddit is where they were communicating. Robinhood is where they were trading. Robinhood yeah. is a trading website. Right. Yeah. Right. And the ad was for you're Reddit. Both, you're both right, <laughs> but. They're two different things. Yeah, but that trading site is the one that lost a lot of money over this whole yeah. GameStop thing because that was one of the things these people were trying to hurt and ruin, you know. It wasn't the site that lost money. It was the customers that lost money. Yeah. Somebody yeah. yeah. didn't have the right reserves. And they, they had to go back to their, their board and... To funding. Huge. They had to get more funding yeah. to cover the... Yeah. The trades. Yeah, yeah. So... Anyway, so the, I, but they were advertising yesterday, and I went. The one that, the one that I'm still the one that I'm still trying to process is the Bruce Springsteen commercial. To try and figure out what I think of that. I liked yeah. it. I liked it. I mean, you said they were trying to get him for ten years. He's aging very well. I think he's aging yeah. terribly. Oh my I god! Never thought he well, he I never great. thought he would sell a product. I mean, I like the commercial, <laughs> the sentiment. But he I never looks thought... great. He has aged so well. Really? I thought yes. he I thought he looked good too. The oh my God. Was right. I, I leave hope. it to the women, you know. I hope oh, that's no, 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 no. Never mind the women. I'm as straight as they come. And if I look good, that good at that age, I'm gonna be a happy guy. That dude yeah. has <laughs> he aged looks well. Great. Well, he's just he got does. the kind of face that could yeah, you know it's just aged well. Yeah, his hair looks. Let me see the, the look at it this way. Yeah, he, uh, he the jeep he, that he was driving in that commercial was his personal jeep yeah, that he had flown good. in, and it's like a 1983 something yeah. or other. I'm yeah. sure Jeep Company gave him one. Well, probably. Maybe that one. No, well. But I yeah. mean, it was a nice message, you know. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of nice messages, you guys see what Colbert did with that uh, bookstore? Why? No. Why? What? You watch Stephen Colbert after, right after the Super Bowl, and he took a bookstore, and I forget where it is, somewhere in Middle America, and he did a commercial for them, and he had Tom Hanks in part of it, and, and uh, <laughs> did a phenomenal, it was, oh, it was so heartwarming. It was really, really cool. Really? That is cool. I, that I, I find it very hard to watch anything Stephen Colbert does. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Oh, does he make you cringe? Oh, I yeah. can't stand them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so whiny. And I won't ask Shecky what he thinks because then we'll be here for two hours. <laughs> well, I think I'm being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> My whole thing since Dave left is who who do I watch? So Colbert's the none guy. of them. None of them. Yeah, yeah. I think Kimmel, if you want my opinion, Kimmel's the one to watch. I like I Kimmel. mean, if you yeah. like Letterman, he's the closest thing to that kind of talk show. Yeah. Yeah. And he's good at it. Hey, Kimmel's worth watching. I watch that. Yeah. 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 I kind of like Jimmy Fallon. I think yeah, he can be Jimmy kind of Fallon's okay. Jimmy mm. Fallon's terrible. Uh, I just usually watch him like, um, like I don't watch the actual show. I'll watch clips later. That's what we oh. do. We watch it like a day or two later. Yeah. But, but I. The guy that Continually watches John Oliver. I love him. Oh, I love, oh, yeah. him. love him. When is he coming back? This week. In, no, this week. Is it this oh, week? Okay. It's this the nineteenth. No, maybe it's Sunday. The next, week. next Sunday. Okay. 
yeah, yeah, at the at the rate I'm going, he'll 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 uh, he'll be coming back when I get my second shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now it's not that far away, Alex. I know, but but Shecky got his first shot a after week and us. a half after us, or a week after us, and he's getting his his second shot two days before us. That's only two days. Uh, before exactly four weeks from the first shot. Yeah, wow. mine will be five and a half weeks. Which five is and better, a half actually. Weeks. The, the data is showing that people who go five to seven weeks are better off than the ones that get it sooner. Yeah. Really? Are they saying that? Yep. Who said that? Because Fauci is going around saying, no, you got to get it now. You got to get it after four weeks. I've seen Probably Bill de Blasio. Huh? What'd you say? They're probably Bill de Blasio saying, yeah, seven weeks, it'll be better. Well, I don't, I don't my to doctor, it. my doctor, I asked him that question. He said, actually, the, it gives the cells a chance to replicate the um, therapy and, and reproduce. And um, he said, so it's not bad at all. So, Andrew, where did you hear that that many weeks was good? I've, I've seen several, several actual infection specialist doctors being interviewed, saying that in other countries, they're finding that, that having people wait <laughs> has a better effect has a better effect. The, Brit the British Department of Health is saying it and a couple of other, couple other countries uh, are confirming it. Yeah. It's not that getting it in four weeks is bad, but giving your body time to actually start creating the antibodies. And that's then- exact, That's what my doctor said, exactly. And then the booster comes along and, right. and it, it helps it along even further. Yeah, yeah. and then it's still- I heard, I heard that the Moderna is like 80% effective after th three or four weeks. On the first, the first shot, yeah. On the first yeah, shot. Yeah, they don't know yet, but they don't know if we need a yearly booster like the flu shot. They what's, haven't got that. What's going to happen? We're going to get that second shot, and then they're going to come out and say, We're, we just found out it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know. Um, uh, Scott, are you old enough to get your, your, your shot yet? Nope. Oh, 63. 63. Wow. Almost 63. Do you have any kind of comorbidity? Well, I just got my blood results back from the doctor and my glucose is getting over the limit. Is that a comorbidity, uh, Rick? We'll have to ask our governor. It's, it's almost <laughs> I think that. It is. Yeah, because in our state, it's called a comorbidity. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this weird, this weird disease. Everything I eat turns to shit. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't take pills for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, let's see here. Charlie, you've gotten your shot, right? I got my first one, yeah. Got your first one. And uh, uh, Steve, have I'm you gotten yours first. yet? 64, no. no. 64. Oh, you're right under the... Yeah. Why don't you just lie about your age? They don't <laughs> ask. I don't think they Say ask. you're a smoker. Say you have a previous condition, smoking. No. I haven't gotten... My mom hasn't gotten hers yet, and she's 80. Now, Andrew, are wow. you old, are you old enough to get it? No, no. But 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 if you hadn't lost all that weight, yeah. <laughs> you would have that. You obesity is one of the comorbidities. Yeah. Maybe I'll get a cardboard cutout and tape it to my. <laughs> what I used to look like and just kind of. Yeah. But uh, all and all you have to do is sign a thing saying I had, I say that I have this comorbidity and if you were looking that fat they go you don't even have to sign it you know go ahead get your shot yeah my my problem is I want all the essential workers to get it before me so yeah I'm okay I work at home I don't need to go out and I can wait my turn you think something weird's going to happen to the people who've taken the shot no I'm not worried about it if it was available to me today. And it didn't put me in front of people who need it more than me to go to work. I would take it for sure. Yeah. But, but I work at home and I don't need to go anywhere. So why not let like the people who are making my food yeah. get protected before me? Oh, here we How go. How old are you, Andrew? We're really old. We're being oh. I'll, be 50, I'll be 55 in August. Oh, look, look who's here. Oh, quick guys, oh, quick here. Look at the haircut. So anyway, what did you think of the game last night, everybody? What, there wasn't a game. What are you talking what, about? What game? What game? Good, good cover. Hey, good hey, cover. Albert, is, is it true that Tampa now changed the tourism slogan? Now we're famous for something besides hepatitis? <laughs> <laughs> that was from Saturday Night Live. You stole that. Was that? I didn't see it this week. 
Oh, really? That was the joke on Saturday Night Live. Was it? Yeah. I've been telling that joke for years. <laughs> really? Did they have a big scare down there once or something? No, I when I, years ago when I lived in Orlando, people would say, I'm going to move to Tampa. And you go, why? You want the other kind of hepatitis? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so yeah. funny. Oh, oh. Uh, Albert, we're, we're, you're not anywhere, are you, where it's dangerous like that with hepatitis? I'm it's in the United crazy. States. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that dangerous enough for you? <laughs> Not as much this month as it was last a few months ago. How's every? Uh, we were, now you've jinxed it. We were just talking earlier about we were at uh, Shecky said he one day just decided to quit all the medicine his doctors have told him to take. Okay, and he says he's feeling better for it. And other people said some of them said the same thing. And then we were going around asking how many pills people are taking. Charlie's the winner. He's taking three hundred pills a day. Um, <laughs> but uh, do you take any medicine? Any prescription medicine? I take a, um, I take two prescription pills a day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I take four. Huh? I take four. Is this a contest? No. Should I be taking more? No, no Charlie already won. There is a contest. Possibly a contest. Well, she, uh, she, uh, uh, Marjorie, Marjorie used to take five, but she's not taking her birth control pill anymore. <laughs> <laughs> is that more of a, a commentary on you or her? <laughs> oh boy uh, <laughs> if you're gonna put the ball on that little tee i'm gonna hit it yeah. <laughs> well, that was... we were we were actually talking about the game before you called out yes tom brady what about it great game he was great How did well he... they were both great quarterbacks i think it, 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 you know you know how i know sports you yes. know that's one of my big things. I mean, I have a sports Emmy after all. Here we go. <laughs> but I watched this game, and Marjorie said to me, "Oh, uh, you know, look at that score." And it was like I don't know. It was like four thousand to one. I mean, it was that. He's looking bad. at the time, and he's saying to me, "Oh, you mean four and a half minutes? That's the score?" <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, yes. I said that, <laughs> wow, that was a real, that's a real route. You know, it was like at 6 and 31 at the time, okay? Which is where I think it wound up anyway. And I said, what's exciting nine. about a game with that kind of score? I mean, you're sitting there and all you're doing is waiting for it to end and par probably heading for your, if you're in the stadium, you're heading for the car about 15 minutes earlier than you normally would because you know how it's going to turn out. No, but real football fans will stay and then party. I mean, at the end, they ran out the clock and they just stood around hugging each other while they were waiting for the clock to run out. Because they won. So how's that an exciting game is my question. Well, yeah. 34 to 9? That's pretty... 31 well, that to wasn't an exciting game. It was just 30, a good game. 31 to 9, oh, Okay, yeah. it was a good game. Okay. The, the good part was in the first half. Yeah. Just all the action. But no, but it was. I thought it. I thought it was. It was fun to watch uh, Brady move that line and keep yeah. going. I thought he he did a great job with his team. I thought the whole team was terrific. It was nice to see Gronk get, uh, yeah. get used a little bit yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jeff, the what, best did you, what did you think of the game, Jeff? No, but wait. Well, let's ask you. Let's ask Alex about. first what? what he thought about Gronk. <laughs> I thought the game was was very good, particularly the half, the first half, I should say. Mm -hmm. And we just lost. Awesome. Oh, there, there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we don't have your sound, Jeff. Well, I'll tell you what I did oh. last night after Marjorie went to bed. I watched the halftime. Oh. And my only oh, question is, the who was that? Terrible. Yeah, I don't know, Al. Who was that? Now, here we have a bunch of the weekend. old people here. What? Weekend? Was that the weekend? Oh, that, kind of was, oh, that was a great show, too. Oh, it was what? terrible. No. What was the five-second ad? Reddit. 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 Yeah, but what Reddit. was it? What do you mean, what was it? It was just like a just their name. It was just a thing, and it had writing. That's it? Like a message. <laughs> hmm. You had to either yeah. to pause it to see it. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mike. Door, you know, Mike's got his hand up. Mike. I just want to throw out there, and I might be the minority in the room. I love the weekend. He's amazing. I loved him when he was on. I first discovered him when he was on Dave, and I went down the rabbit hole. I've seen him live three times. I'm a fan of that dude. 
That shows you how old I've gotten. I didn't know who he was. I think, that, I and I think that's why a lot of people are like, oh, it was the I most think, boring halftime show. It's because they don't know who he is. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't either. Mandy, I don't Michael either. Generation. Yeah. I, I, I mean, generation I like him. I just, well, Mandy I think it's the, hilarious how they're already making memes out of that one <laughs> song. Um, I can't feel my face. Because like when he was walking around, I mean, it's hilarious. All the memes people like have made. Really, if you really watered down Prince and took away a lot of Prince's talent, <laughs> you'd have the weekend. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can go deep on this one. That dude has a lot of depth. He really does. Yeah, yeah and I agree. Him. I agree with Mike. My neighbor, really? so I mean, I just, I just, I'm sitting there watching this thing and going, you know, I when they have Jennifer Lopez or Lady Gaga, I know who that is, you know, but this yeah. one, I didn't, I, uh, did you know who it was, Albert? Are you yeah. aware of the yeah. weekend? I'm not familiar with his songs, but I know who he is. Well, I he's not as old as you, now Alex. that they said the weekend, I know who that is. I've heard of him, but I couldn't recognize him on site. No. I know. Well, maybe, it was, maybe it was because he had underwear on his head. or um, No, that was all his dance. Yeah, that was his dance. <laughs> well, they pay to be on there now, right? They don't get paid to be on there anymore. They actually pay to be the the act now on the halftime show. Do they no. not? Right. Really? He had to put his own money into it. He paid like $7 million to do that. I'm pretty sure I that's never, right. I I was so wait, 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 hold on a second. Are you guys putting me on? No, no. He, he did pay his own money. So in other words, <laughs> if, if I could do a GoFundMe and say raise $10 million, I could yeah. sing next year at the Super Bowl? I'll do a hundred bucks right now. Do it. Well, yeah, I'm in for, I'm the in days for when yeah. it, in the days when Whitney Houston sang it was was she getting paid? She was in the halftime. And who? She didn't do the Whitney halftime. Houston. She sang the Star Spangled. That was Man. another time, but back, she was also yeah, a halftime. No, 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 back <laughs> then they got paid. I think this is only like two years old. I think up until oh, wow. a few right. years this, ago, this it was always they would make money on the deal. Why? Because but, they're going to sell a lot of records out of it. Is that the reason why? Well, it's the yeah, largest like watch event in the world. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What about the Star, Star Spangled Banner? Did you guys like that version? It was like a duet, country kind of yeah, vibe. I it was pretty good. I, I we, were, we weren't around for that. We were watching what? The Whatever the name is that we're watching that you're forcing me to watch. What do you mean I'm forcing Gotham. you to watch? And they also <laughs> had the flyover with bombers. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah, it was bomber, bomber planes. I wonder if Trump the normal that's fighter off. jets. <laughs> Uh, uh, it wasn't the Blue Angels, was it? No, they, oh. it was bombers, like those big old. It was a B one, a B two, and a B fifty two. I have a, I, I hate. I yeah, yes, Jeff. It was three airplanes coming down oh, together. Yeah, yeah. And the, they were all different sizes airplanes. It would be nice if they like unloaded on Mar-a-Lago while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like keep on going. <laughs> no i uh i uh i always had a hard on for the blue angels because they they just bothered me a lot. by the way did you see trump's hotel in washington has tripled its rates for march 4th because yep. q has put out a press release that will be the second inauguration of donald trump yep nice yep Supposedly he's in the bunker in the basement and he's coming upstairs. That's the Q <laughs> and he's been executing his enemies on the White House lawn. Well, let's not talk about politics. Yeah. That's not politics. It's That's not stealing true. money. What? That's stealing money. That's not politics. Oh, it's not. Yeah, you're right. It's stealing money. It sounds like penguin. It's science fiction. We well, see what I've been doing with Marjorie is we've been watching uh, the entire run of uh, we've been binge watching Gotham. Mm. and good, I, right? she she was reticent to do it but then her girlfriend said watch it it's really good ah. so she gave it a try and now she's going what what do you want to do now marjorie she says watch another episode of gotham i don't say it like that that's what's what's only... it's huh? the only... i love him i love him <laughs> I'm I'm my of my nerd friend we love see, he watches this show called... do that. <laughs> she loves this show in england called Master Chef professional. Professional. And there's this announcer who describes the meals the people have created in these okay. very dulcet, these really very interesting tones. And she loves that voice. And I said, Well, you should watch this show. 
and he plays a Alfred, Alfred Butler on uh, on Gotham. Sean Pertwee. Uh, His I'm father totally was the what, third Doctor Who, Shecky. Third, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was on. He was the third Doctor Who. His father. Yeah, yeah. And Didn't know that show is what sixty plus years. Yep. Really. Uh, is it 60? Uh, is it that much? Well, 60 right. in the 50s. 62 or 63, right? Started. Yeah. Then there was yeah. that big hiatus. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, look who's here. Brian Neary is here. Hey. Hey, Bravo. Hello, Brian. How you doing? Good. Yeah, he's eating again. One, one word answers. He's, he's always good. eating when we're doing <laughs> I we just got home, home, so I had to eat something. We had this kid that was calling for about three nights in a row and i don't even know if, do, do he seem like a kid to you yes he does yeah 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 because yeah. he said he plays roblox roblox is what adrian plays oh okay <laughs> so he said he's yeah. nine years old and then in the middle of it he says would that guy brian quit eating no 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 i was licking, <laughs> i was i was licking my spoon that had nutella on it <laughs> oh, trying to stop licking your spoon yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, got caught, huh? Yeah, I get it, right? Sometimes. So while uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, Brian, while you were in here, uh, this is the entry question for everybody: uh, What medicine? What drugs do you take? I mean, <laughs> legal drugs, the ones your doctors prescribe. Oh, yeah, prescribed drugs. How many? How um, many do you take? You don't have to say what. I am. I, I take one. I take one for my blood pressure. How old are you now? 53, I think. Okay. Something like that. Wait till you get to be 80. <laughs> we will have put another one on and then another one on, and maybe you should take this and maybe you should take that. Is that why they have those machines, those sorters? You just pour your pills in them and it sorts everything out for you. Yeah. Is there one like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, Charlie's got the old school one, but I saw another one where they take it and they actually dispense it for you. I thought of, of that, that I wanted to invent something where you just throw all your pills into this thing and it puts them in these little things for a month or something. But does it divide it by which pills go into which? Yeah, you do I one guess. bottle at a time. I don't know. Since I only have one, that's easy. Well, remember. she's got <laughs> hers. She's got hers separated because she's also taking uh, vitamins. She's got hers separated into nighttime and morning. Morning. I bet yeah, you I want to take, take some. Vitamins. I want to take some vitamins or something. Now wait, we didn't ask you, uh, Jeff. How many? I think nine. Nine. Wow. Well, nine you a day. Both. You got to yeah. remember, he's the poster child for strokes. You got to remember. Charlie's the winner. <laughs> but, yeah, but Jeff had a stroke, so he nine is about right, right? Yeah. That, that, yeah well, I besides that trumps me. Too, I have other things too. I have a mechanical electrical heart valve on this side. <laughs> yeah. I have the watchman on this <laughs> side. Yeah. Basically, and, basically you're RoboCop, right? And, and the brain is kind of like halfway on, halfway off. <laughs> <laughs> you're on a meter. Well, welcome to the club. <laughs> well, I know, but it used to work. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes um, the words come out different. Yeah. Yeah, so blood pressure, you, high blood pressure runs in my family. So that's pressure, I'm, okay. I'm like, I'm in great shape. Really. So the high winner today <laughs> is is Charlie, and and the uh, <clears throat> lowest is Shecky. And who else said they weren't taking any? Uh, Steve Bender and Andrew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Andrew. And oh, Mike Chisholm. But you too young, Mike, could be taking anything. When I was your age, I wasn't taking anything. Yeah. Yeah, I take a lot of vitamins and supplements and stuff. Yeah, I do too. Brian, yeah. you take sandwiches. I know. Well, I'm not much for vitamins, and I'll tell you why. Because really, I had a doctor nice tell me once, all it does is give you expensive pee. Oh, <laughs> the expensive yeah. pee. Yeah, that's what yeah. they told yeah. me too. Yeah. There's, there's some that there's actually. Like oh, wait a minute, they Mandy's, Mandy's doing. The Let's hear what she's doing. Hey, Mandy, Mandy, say hello for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can I can actually mute it for mute, mute her. Charlie, Charlie, what's your shirt? I'm muted. There, there we go. 
Okay. I would agree with you, but then we'd both be, <laughs> we'd wrong. Both be wrong. <laughs> Charlie has a serious addiction. Even on Facebook, he keeps posting all these new shirts he's going to buy. Oh, so what does it say now? <laughs> you noticed? <laughs> what does it say? Yeah. I'd agree with you, but then, then we'd both be wrong. We'd both be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite t-shirt I ever had said stereotypes are a shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> but th there was one you were wearing the other night that was kind of interesting. I'm trying to remember what oh, it was. It was, it was a, a mathematical. Force, oh, the oh. force be with you. Huh. That was one of I think he's talking about the one where it had the square root of minus four equals two. But oh, that's yeah. error because it should be two I. Mm. And it, it's all fun and games until someone loses an I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh god yeah physics comedy physics comedy <laughs> that's why i like the big bang theory so much so anybody oh, been doing i pipe down sheldon everybody been do, uh, doing anything interesting since the shutdown a year ago no no <laughs> it's in the last couple of weeks you know how about the last year? They're starting to open up a little bit out here. So outdoor dining is going again. Um, we went and had a went to a winery over the weekend. So, you know, it's opening a little. Now you live in California. What but... shutdown is this? Yeah. What shutdown? <laughs> Which one? Yeah. yeah, we never shut down Texas. Not in Florida. Right. Now, wait a minute. In California, Charlie, what's the current uh, death count in California? Have they oh, beaten they were like 800 behind y'all yesterday. Oh, really? That's yes. it? New York is They're the highest in York. deaths because we got caught with our pants down early. Yeah. But now California is within 800 of, of passing us. Yeah, well, we have 40 million people here, too. <laughs> and we're opening up the restaurants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Someone told me last week that they have an oxygen shortage in California as well. So they're making calls as to who gets on the ventilator and who doesn't. There's, there's, plenty, of, there's yeah. plenty of hot air out here, that's for sure. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. This is, it's, all, it's all the most pathetic thing that's ever happened to us that didn't have to happen. You know? Mm. Yeah, my friends had a Super Bowl party. They said, oh, there's only going to be 10 or 12 people. Oh. <laughs> No, thanks. Yeah. No. I'll take a pass. Yeah, I didn't come this far to... Yeah, we know everybody that's team. coming. That's yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah. It's only family. Yeah. We'll know them when they go. Well, it's uh, all fun and games till somebody loses a lung. Mm -hmm. so, you know. Or a life. Go, go find a shirt for that, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's out there. I'll find it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do you go out a lot, Scott, out there? You're in Texas. I, I started going back to the gym uh, last week. Mm -hmm. so. And how is require masks in the gym? I'm wearing a mask, and it, it's a big gym. There's not that many people. But do, do they, they wear masks? They require, they require Are they required it? required to wear masks? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. And you I was going to the gym. Off. Our gym's pretty big, and... Yeah, like you're saying, there weren't there weren't many people in there. Maybe seven to ten people at the most when I would go, and wow. everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's really far apart. Yeah, so. it's it's. I feel safe there. Yeah, I think I'm still paying for my gym. Oh, Mandy, if you're listening, <laughs> I turned off your mic, so you have to turn it back on if you want to talk. Okay, I did that, so we didn't I'm have so to. Sorry. We, it's we okay. Fine, that's okay. We shut you down. We'll have, we'll take we'll we'll put, <laughs> that was take you there under any condition. Okay. We were listening in. We wanted to Alex listen. was trying to eavesdrop, so we told him to stop. Huh? What? Taxes. Stuff about taxes. Taxes. Stuff so about taxes. Well, we tax so fun. Fun. It wasn't me, thankfully. <laughs> we thought you were getting season. promoted. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Taxes that somebody else had tax problems? Well, somebody that works here did something wrong with the, their tax stuff. And but she was just, my boss was asking me out. Oh. It wasn't me, at least. <laughs> I didn't screw up. I prepare everything and give it to our accountant, then my job is done. Yeah. Once I yeah. put it in his hands, I'm finished. I did it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to do like we had to, you know, prepare 1099s. So. It was, well, Marjorie, you know, we're pay we're paying a lot of insurance every month, and Marjorie is uninsured. 
Oh, God. Because what <laughs> happened was somehow I took notice of the fact that she didn't, she was, you know, when they, when you get a new insurance policy, I don't know who's supposed to tell them. Our they, broker. You know, our broker is supposed to? Well, we paid him. He got a fee from the insurance company. Yeah, but anyway, I, they were informed that I had two accounts. I bought double in, in, insurance every month, right? Why would I do that? Okay. Uh, and and she didn't have any credited to her account on Medicare. So all the bills for, what is it, January that were coming. Went to through, SAG. Went to SAG after, who forgot to take us off. You uh. forgot to tell everybody that they went out of business. And so December. anyway, Marjorie, basically, it, well, she's covered now, right? I was always covered. I mean, I had the cards. All my doctors had the cards. They processed them. Medicare processed the, processed the secondary as but they didn't SAG have, But they didn't have the information to send it off to your secondary. Yeah, they sent it off to SAG after. Yeah, it, it's, you know. It's, yeah. Boy. It was, it, it, there was another, what I call Life in the big of, lane. Of, of dealing with the, with the system, you know. I know somebody else who had a problem with that company. With what kind? Medicare? Guy in Florida. I forget his name. Oh, that one. That one. Uh, uh, oh, SAG AFTRA? <laughs> yeah, that guy quit SAG AFTRA. That's right. You heard about that, didn't you, Albert? Wait, is this? That, that SAG AFTRA. Uh, uh, dr um, Trump quit it. No, he they didn't quit. He didn't quit it. They he sent a letter. No, he quit it. No, he finally he did quit. Didn't, didn't they say they were they said they were thinking of letting right? Him? But in the meantime, he sent a letter saying, I don't want to associate with you. No. <laughs> I went out. And he and he quote he basically made alluded to our our, our uh, uh, health problems with the union. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why. Like he really knows. Like he really knows. <laughs> like he and, really reads. And it was uh and, and he wrote this letter about, you know, I, I, you know I've been in movies like uh, Home Alone, Home Alone 2. 2, and I was on in Wall Street 2. He never could make the first one. He always made the second one. And then I had the most popular show in television history, The Apprentice. And he did all of this. It was typical Trump. And then uh, after it was all over, uh, after I sent him a letter back that simply read, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> They probably had to go through a couple of drafts before they sent that. I'm sure right. the first word wasn't thank you. It was probably fuck you. Well, they had <laughs> sent him a letter saying they were thinking of dropping him from the union because they felt that he made it dangerous for journalists, for reporters who were members of that union, uh, made it dangerous for them and put their lives in jeopardy. And they felt that that was a, you know, a despicable situation. So, you know, but they wrote back, thank you. <laughs> which, is, which is perfect yeah. so how's yeah. everything down in florida on your you're you're somewhere where um um uh, who else here is from florida is there anybody here from florida no there isn't it's just me well, how's everything in your part of florida is it okay i mean it's okay far enough away from donald trump and uh good still, still close enough yeah now you live in a trailer camp down there don't you um yeah but we have the double wide so it's not really yes yeah, so <laughs> i couldn't afford the triple wide then huh <laughs> well we're modest people we're very modest people yeah. and, and, and we'll tell you all the time we're modest yeah. yeah and in order to move into the trailer camp they had to have a couple of their teeth removed oh yeah. good or or relatives or <laughs> like we have yeah. a lot of that too so you were <laughs> Oh, look who's here. Oh, look who's here. Oh, hello. Adrian. Hello, Adrian. Yeah, okay, yeah. She, she, Say hello. Or she not likes play the act box. guy, doesn't she? Oh, she no. likes the act <laughs> guy. Say hi that way. That's yeah. all make-believe. Well, that kid has a lot of hair. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Especially when you're washing it every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. say hello. Say hello. Tell me we got to go. So how so you You'll never Adrian. become an influencer Adrian. like that. Let me ask Adrian a question. <laughs> Adrian, I want to ask you a question. Have you gotten a job yet? <laughs> Make yourself useful, kid. Do you have a job yet? No. <laughs> Neither does Alex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we have to do an assessment test with our teacher, so. 
Bye. Okay, we're almost Bye. through here. We're See almost you, through here. Bye. Goodbye, yeah. Adrian. Okay, bye, Bye. Everybody. Bye. See you, Brian. <laughs> School time. It's amazing how sometimes she's shy and other times she just makes faces yeah. at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but uh, Kids. so uh, what's up for the next week? Anybody doing anything exciting? See, there's nothing like that to talk about these days. There's what? nothing to do. Uh, yes. Uh, something very exciting. What? I'm going to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Mike. I'm doing something exciting. What's that? Um, well, it's little and nerdy, but um, there's a guy who used to own like a curio shop that sold all of his inventory. One of the things that was in his inventory right. are these boxes of basketball trading cards from 1991. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. And he wow. sold my friend 11 of these boxes for 79 cents a box. This is a box full of packs. Wow. Inside of those packs. Oh, my God. If you get the Michael Jordan that's in that pack and it gets graded as a 10, it's $1,200, $1,400 US. And most a of these card, boxes- each card, yeah. For, for, for the card. Yeah. Most of the boxes have four to five of those Michael Jordans. Usually wow. one or two of them are in good enough shape to worth grading. So wow. me and my kid tonight, we're gonna be opening up packages from that box tonight. So there's something that's exciting. Cool. Wow, wow. You're gonna, chew, you're gonna chew the gum too or not? I have <laughs> one chewing of the gum, and don't worry, we'll film a reaction video of it. Yeah, I just remember it was like a sheet of pink, and it was hard as a rock, and it broke up. Yes, that's it, what she said. That, <laughs> 1991, it's going to be pretty crunchy. Now you, you're <laughs> uh, Shaggy's got a pretty good baseball collection, don't you? Decent, not. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you had to sell your, your collection, you could probably get a nice penny for it, right? I have a lot of 60s rookie cards and, you know, Willie Mays or Mickey Mantles or those kind of cards. Nolan Ryan. Nice. So I guess so. You know what I have somewhere is uh, the, uh, what was the name of the character in, in, uh, in The Natural? Uh, the baseball uh, player. Roy Hobbs. No, no, no. Yeah, Roy Hobbs. Roy Hobbs. Roy Hobbs. I have a Roy Hobbs card. Mm, probably and worth it, 12 cents. No, it's not <laughs> worth more than that. Here's what happened. In the movie, they have a scene in which there are these cards coming off the printer of Roy Hobbs cards. <laughs> and somebody got a sheet of one of them and cut them up and gave me one. So it's probably pretty rare, but it's not going to be traded like a regular baseball card. It's probably mm. movie memorabilia. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we need friend Bicycle playing play cards. Do they count? <laughs> yeah, bicycle cards. Yeah, right. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I could never figure out why they called them bicycle. Because they made that flap. They made that noise. No, that that isn't the reason. <laughs> <laughs> they were made by the, the name of the company. By oh. the U.S. playing card company sure. in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it certainly, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm glad that we all get together like this on Monday. It's just a nice bunch of people, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, and two people who, who are calling this program that wouldn't call my other show at all. It's Shecky and, yeah. and Scott doesn't call my other show at all. I don't. And you I don't. don't. And wow. Albert doesn't, and uh, Steve doesn't, <laughs> and uh, so the only let's see here we have, and, and Mandy doesn't, but uh, Jeff does. Maybe we should all call into his nighttime show one night and surprise the shit out of him. We <laughs> should <laughs> what and civilize it? <laughs> and civilize it? What are you talking about, guys and gals? <laughs> uh, boy, it's great having you all here. Uh, Mandy, always good to have you here. I know you have to do work while you're here, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm Very doing something. I always choose something mindless to do. <laughs> <laughs> something that lets me kind of halfway pay attention. Yeah, exactly. What I should do is I should have Marjorie in here working at her computer doing stuff. And then we're right. Uh, Shaki, of course, always the best, you know. I'm just, I just, I have not seen this guy in a year. I've not seen him in a year. And it, it's, it's distressing to me uh, because we go, we get together. We used to go out and get the sushi, which that place is closed down. Is it? It closed down. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Um, and uh, uh, Mike Chisholm up there in Canada, Scott Boddicker in Plano, Texas, the home of Snapple. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. It's the headquarters for Snapple. Andrew Deutsch, thank you from Cleveland. Leonard LaFrisco, thank you from California. Steve Bender, right down the street here. Hi, I'll wave at you. Uh, and Charlie Wallace, and of course, Albert, uh, the greatest producer I ever had. And uh, if I ever get a radio show again, you'll be the first guy I call. This is a radio <laughs> show. <laughs> well, get your ass up here. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. And Marjorie Miller, uh, don't divorce me anytime soon. <laughs> Thanks to everybody. Okay. And right. see you all later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye to the people who are watching as well. <laughs>